What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Shelter in Place, Connected in Place, Shelter in Place number 60. And you don't know how long I've been waiting to say this. Welcome. We are the Peter Martin Trio. My name is Peter Martin. This is Bob DeBoo at the base right there. Bob DeBoo at the, there he is. What's up, Bob? How you doing? <laughs> We're all in the same room playing together. And um, at the drums this evening, Mr. Montez, Coleman. This is when people usually go crazy clapping and all that. So we're doing it for each other now, you know? <laughs> uh, it's such an honor to have these gentlemen, these friends, these amazing musicians able to come back together and play music. This is a homecoming in so many different ways. And um, thank you guys all for being here. Um, we're just gonna play a bunch of music for you. We've got an amazing sponsor tonight. We've got an amazing nonprofit. We've got some fun announcements. And um, that first tune we played was Swinging at the Haven. I've done that a couple times solo, but there's nothing like playing a trio. I think I prefer the trio vibe, so thank you guys for being here. Uh, thank you all the viewers all around. You know, good evening, good morning, middle of the night, wherever you're at in the world. Um, next, we're gonna play an original composition. We're gonna play a little bit of blues because we're still in St. Louis, as far as I know. This is Clapper Dapper. <laughs>
Yes, 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 that's Montez Coleman at the drums. See, I remembered how to say it and everything. <laughs> Mr. Bob DeBoo at the bass. Clapper Dapper. Thank you guys so much for being here. Right now we're gonna play, actually, you know what, let's do a little Duke Ellington. How about that? Um, this is one that I played real early on, maybe for sure once, maybe twice, early on, you know, last year, 2020, that year we're putting behind us. And, um, you know, I love playing the music of Duke Ellington and connecting. It's, it's modern and it's ancient and it's, it's, it's everything in between, but it's always relevant. So we hope you enjoy Sophisticated Lady.
Thank you very much, that sophisticated lady by Duke Ellington. See, Bob and Montez, are you guys kind of freaked out by the lack of applause? You, you, I've been doing this for 59 weeks, so I'm used to it. You know, I'm going to have to get used to real applause again. That's going to be the hard thing. <laughs> but I feel it. I see you guys down there. Oh, I got to show my friends. Can you guys see? These are the Zoom VIP folks right over there. They're the strong, silent type. That's what we call them. The strong, there they are, strong and silent type. They're there every week. I appreciate you guys so much. Look at them clapping there. I can feel you guys. And so this is my friends, Bob and um, Montez. And so now everybody's been introduced. See, that's how we do it. Um, tonight, we are sponsored. This is such a pleasure to meet some new folks. Anji Mountain. Now, I didn't even know. St. Louis is such a cool place. We're coming to you from Grand Center here in St. Louis, Missouri, the Arch District. It's coming back to life. Um, and I, Angie Mountain, I didn't even realize this, this is a St. Louis business, a second generation family owned St. Louis based company focused on developing high quality and innovative products for the home, such as innovative floor protection, sustainable area rugs and efficient seating. Angie Mountain is a proud supporter of Pedal the Cause in their effort to bring about a world without cancer and Pedal the Cause. If you can see this here, this is a very special limited edition jersey for Pedal the Cause is an amazing organization. It's in fact our co-sponsor and our nonprofit. Yeah, there it is right there. This is, um, it's been cleaned. It's not sweaty still from the race, but this is a, a award-winning race jersey that is signed and um, Pedal the Cause is so amazing. PTC, we call them. Their uh, mission is to provide critical funding for cancer research at Siteman Cancer Center in Siteman Kids at St. Uh, St. Louis Children's Hospital through their annual cycling, cycling challenge. And they're right down the street from us actually here in St. Louis at the uh, Barnes Jewish Children's Complex. It's their hope that research funded by Pedal the Cause will ultimately lead to a cure for cancer as they donate 100% of public donations to fund this world-class cancer research. And they're doing amazing things here. Uh, a lot of folks in St. Louis and well beyond know about all the great things. And the fact that 100% of everything, all the donations and funding goes directly to the research on um, curing cancers of various types is just amazing. So tonight, if you feel it upon your heart, and look, I got backup tonight. This is usually just me by myself. I got, I don't know if you guys notice, there's, we, we have a YouTube legend that's lurking in the background. You might've seen him behind Bob over there for a minute, Mr. Adam Manis and some other folks. But on stage tonight, playing with me, we got three folks. So the three of us would like to ask you to go, look at that, there he is, to go to PeterMartin.live, when you get a chance, if you get a chance, you can do it after the show and pick up a virtual ticket as we do every week. 20% of all the proceeds will go directly to Pedal the Cause this evening. So we thank them and we thank Angie Mountain. Uh, Bob, do you need some, uh, what are they called? Sustainable area rugs. You look like a gentleman that might be in need of a sustainable area rug. Always. Always. And what about you, Montez? Are you looking for a sustainable area rug is? Are you looking for that? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really know what it was. I had to look it up too. <laughs> a sustainable area rug. That's like a next level rug, man. We're, we're, if they work with drums on it, and if they work with a piano and bass, then count us in for sure. So check them out, Angie Mountain. There's a link to them as well. Big shout out to David Dreyer and the whole crew. Um, David is the executive director for Pedal the Cause, and thank you guys so much. They're gonna be uh, partnering with us on several. Maybe we can keep the jersey in here because I like the kind of vibe. And uh, don't worry, Professor Longhair is still lurking in the background, but maybe we can keep the jersey till, uh, for the next couple of weeks. So anyway, uh, let's move on. How about a little bit of, um, oh, you know what? I'm, look, I got, I got off my game tonight because I got my friends in here playing. I had been doing a thing. I got so tired of announcing songs for 59 weeks that I let my audience guess. I have such an intelligent, amazing audience. So I'm gonna, the, the rest of these you guys are gonna know. So we're just gonna go bam and then feel free to drop into the chat. If you know the name of the student, you can have bragging rights for being the first. And look, Bob and Montez are looking at me like, what are we playing? See if, if we don't announce it. <laughs> so they're going to watch. They're going to figure out. They're really going to figure it out first. You'll hear it. You'll hear it.
All right, who got it first? Who got it first in the chat? I know somebody got that. I know. I know somebody probably got it quick. That's All Blues. That's All Blues by Miles Davis from a little record called Kind of Blue. We hope you enjoyed that. And actually, um, I just remember we have a great, very brief message from the gentleman I was speaking about earlier, Mr. David Dreyer, executive director of Pedal the Cause, that we would like to share. Adam, can we cue that? Can we cue that? Can we roll that? Good evening, everyone. I'm David Dreyer, Executive Director of Pedal the Cause. I'd like to welcome everyone tonight to this wonderful concert and thank Peter Martin for doing these concerts uh, throughout the pandemic. Thanks for, for bringing some joy to our world. Uh, Pedal the Cause, we're going into our 12th year. We have raised millions of dollars, almost $35 million uh, for uh, cancer research uh, at Seidman Cancer Center and for pediatric cancer research at Seidman Kids at St. Louis Children's Hospital. If you want to get involved with Pedal the Cause, the best way is to jump on a bike, register, and become a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser for a world without cancer. You can also walk or play golf or do any other type of activity to commemorate your involvement with the cause. Just know that no matter what you do, 100% of the money that you raise will go to cancer research. We keep nothing for Pedal the Cause. It's a great organization. It, uh, it fulfills a great purpose within the cancer research community. We start cancer research that would not get funded otherwise. And at a seven to one ratio, those projects attract federal funding later in their cycle. So our 35 million has really become 200 uh, plus million dollars in cancer research dollars um, going at finding that cure, those cures, and really truly creating a world without cancer. I want to thank Angie Mountain for sponsoring tonight and uh, want to thank everybody listening for being involved with Pedal. All right, thank you so much, David, for that message and for your support. And uh, thank you everybody for supporting tonight. Um, this wonderful, our nonprofit of the week, Pedal the Cause. Right now, we're gonna play, all right, this was gonna be a little bit more difficult, but not too much more difficult. Well, for Bob and Montez, it's not going to be any problem guessing what this is going to be because they, they, that's how they roll. But this is you're going to have to delve into your bebop, your slightly obscure bebop chops a little bit to identify this composition. Um, so good luck with this one. But we hope you enjoy.
All right, all right. That's Mr. Montez Coleman at the drums. Give it up. Woo! Montez Coleman. At the bass, Mr. Bob DeBoo. Yeah. Bob DeBoo. Bob DeBoo. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, so next week we have, um, we're going to keep this party going. Uh, next Friday we have shelter in place number 61, connected in place. I believe that's number nine. And we have a very, very special duo, Mr. Romero Lubambo, who I'm sure many of you are familiar with. He is one of the world's most foremost Brazilian guitarists, just any kind of guitarist. He just happens to be a Brazilian guitarist, jazz guitarist, rock guitarist, country, Western, country and Western, whatever you want, he's got it. But we do a little bit of a duo together and um, we haven't played together in about 14 months. Um, I don't know if he remembers this, the last time we played together was in Bermuda on the island of Bermuda last March. And uh, so we're bringing him to St. Louis next week. St. Louis, I don't know, Dan, would you say St. Louis is known as the Bermuda of the Midwest? A little bit? It's the Mississippi River. They, they've got the Atlantic Ocean. We've got the Mississippi River, so it's all good. Uh, but Romero's coming to town next week. We're going to do a duo right here. So we want you to join us for that. And we actually have a very f small number, as in seven tickets left. I mean, there's only like, it's going to be very small in here, socially distanced, very safe crowd in our studio for a small live audience if you're interested in that see the date details below actually you can go to petermartin.live slash duo ticks i think that link will be below um but anyway if you're in town if you're st louis local would like to check that out and also for the first time ever by popular request next week we're going to be doing a live show just for europe and uk which is going to be 7 p.m uh london time 8 p.m paris Prague, um, Berlin time, Central European time, I believe it's. So um, subscribe here. You can get notified when that happens. It's going to be right here, but that's going to be a special show. So there's going to be two live shows next week on Friday with Romero Lubumbo. And you can check out Romero Lubumbo with the wonderful Joe Locke. You, you know Joe Locke? You hip to Joe Locke, Montez? Vibes player? Bob? You guys don't seem excited. Oh, I can't tell because of the mask. That's what it is. Sorry. <laughs> you're, you're, you guys have excitement under the mask. That's what it is. But Joe Locke is amazing. Vibraphonist and Romero tomorrow night on the Open Studio YouTube channel, 7 p.m. Eastern. Please check that out. Um, okay. This next one is going to be a very challenging one for you guys to guess. So I'm just going to kind of put it out there so that Bob and uh, Monta Montez know what's happening. This is a composition uh, that I've been wanting to play trio. I did it solo a couple times, but it's not quite the same as trio. This is Lil Boy Man, written by the amazing drummer that should be no more, but he started to get no more. The late great Mr. James Black out of New Orleans. This is Lil Boy Man.
Little Boy Man by James Black. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please give, give it up for two young masters. We're still young masters, right? I'm not, but you guys are. First of all, at the base, let me hear you guys from wherever you are in the world. Mr. Bob DeBoo. Bob DeBoo, Fort Worth's finest. Fort Worth's finest. Texas is in the house. Texas is in the house. And at the drums, East St. Louis finest, Mr. Montez Coleman, the legend, the legend. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, we're going to play one more and then take it out of here. Um, as always, we are staying spiritually connected as we start to come physically together a little bit. You know, that's how we do it safely. And um, please go to petermartin.live. And a big shout out to David Moons. He is the president of uh, Angie Mounds. And if you get a chance, go on their website. He has a great story about how he started the company and a, a sort of mid, midlife entrepreneur and a great guy, but thank you. He's a board member of PTC, Pedal the Cause, and a sponsor of the concert tonight. So thank you so much, David, and everybody over at Angie Mountain. Um, get your sustainable rug on, you know what I'm saying? Not this kind of rug, this kind of rug. That's what we're talking about. I don't know, they might have everything. So again, join us next week. We got seven spots, slots here to safely watch the Romero show. Oh, we're gonna do a little bit of wine um, up on the rooftop tomorrow. We'll, 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 that's kind of a bonus thing. We're going to do an outdoor little wine tasting, right? That's happening with Mr. John Parker next week. Next week. So if you do are one of the seven people that come live, you'll be in it for that. What else we got? That's it. We're going to do one more. So this tune is really inspired by Montez because, as he said, he's played this about a thousand times uh, or more. Uh, Mon Montez was the... Um, actually, Montez and myself at different times both had the pleasure of um, playing with Roy Hargrove, the late great legend Roy Hargrove, and, and he was a friend and an inspiration to all of us, to this entire generation of musicians. Uh, but Mo not only did Montez play this tune probably more than any other drummer, he played it better than any other drummer. And that's saying something, because there's some great drummers played this tune, um, but Montez actually played in what I always thought was the best, most classic uh, iteration of the Roy Hargrove quintet. And um, I put the one I was in close second. But in any case, we're going to play this inspired by Montez. We hope you enjoy. And this is the way Roy used to say it, I think. Strasbourg, Saint-Denis. It's a fun place. <laughs> Good night, everybody.
Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. We'll see you next week. Montez Coleman, Bob DeBoo, Peter Martin. Thank you.